In the last few months, we have been speeding up the development of the Mirafi launch system, not only the launcher itself, but also the launch complex. In the design of the launcher, we are now working hard in order to uh, feedback all the prototypes testing results into the design in order to maximize the performance of the, of the launcher. Over the past six months, we have been working on uh, st structure manufacturing. So we were focusing the effort on metallic structures, so passing through uh, sheet metal machining, curving, then welding, and final barrel assemblies and the dome assembly to manufacture all the engineering models we have been using for the, the correlation of the analysis we did for structure uh, behavior during, during flight, applying the, the uh, flight loads. And now we're in the process of manufacturing the final uh, qualification articles before uh, uh, vehicle production. Uh, we have been also putting the effort on composite manufacturing uh, with both uh, interstage and fairing. So we produce the first uh, fairing for, for producing the qualification process. We, we did all the qualification process, uh, not only on the production side, but also on the um, uh, uh, testing side, as well as the interstage for targeting uh, this month uh, testing of the complete uh, interstate assembly. In the propulsion manufacturing process for both engines, we have been working on the main uh, combustion chamber and turbo pump elements, uh, focusing the effort on uh, combustion chamber manufacturing using electroplating process, uh, turbo pump development using uh, both machined elements like the pumps, shafts, and turbine, and uh, additive manufacturing for the for the main casings on the on the turbo pump, as well as other. Uh, Element, main elements on the on the rocket engine, like the feed lines, cursing lines, uh, li liquid oxygen lines, and all the other supports that can, let's say, compose the full engine assembly. We have been working in the different integration processes for uh, structures. So we integrated the main uh, tanks we have been using for qualifying the process, the manufacturing process, and the. Uh, correlation of data for uh, stage one and two uh, tanks, main tanks. Uh, and in the other side on propulsion, we were integrating the demonstration engines to validate the electroplating process and other associated elements like the weldings around the, the, the engine. So we did all those uh, integration processes and then we came to their well and we tested. As well as we did for the manufacturing and integration processes, we also developed internally a full capability to perform no destructive uh, testing. So we have here filled this space an X-ray uh, bunker that we can uh, use independently, and uh, but also all the quality checks that are involved in the, the manufacturing process. Murafi requires a huge amount of testing to make sure that everything is ready for launch. So in the past month, we were doing different uh, tests for structural elements. Uh, so in the main uh, structure, main uh, metallic structures, we're doing ambient temperature testing, cryogenic testing, and compressive loads testing, both uh, compression and bending, to make sure that the uh, design and analysis are well correlated with the test data. We were also putting the effort on composite structure testing with the fairing separation tests and uh, a combined load, compression and bending loads for, for the fairing, making sure that the uh, uh, composite were performing as expected, uh, as designed, uh, and everything was, was great. Now we are putting the effort also on the engine uh, testing. So in the past months, and now we are putting the effort on combustion chamber testing, making sure that the electroplating process, all the copper and nickel layers are uh, performing as expected during, during engine hot testing and turbo pump testing. So go into spin start testing and go into full run uh, testing to make sure that turbo pump behavior is really good before final engine assembly. And lastly, the last month, we met a very important milestones uh, regarding the development of our launch complex uh, at CSG. We signed uh, a de development contract uh, with CNES uh, that will allow us to start the civil works this summer and uh, to meet our launch date for 2026.